Now, if you prefer to use Gutenberg over a page builder like Elementor or Divi, but you still want to have an easy way to utilize dynamic data, then the combination of Stackle Pro and Bloxy Pro could be perfect for you. So let's take a very quick look at how to get started combining these tools to great effect. So let's just go ahead and insert a container just so I can kind of wrap everything up inside here. Now I'm using obviously the pro version of Stackable. You need that to get access to these dynamic features. And currently these are still fairly basic dynamic features at this point in time. But my understanding is that version three of Stackable will bring a lot more options with it and hopefully a lot more dynamic options. We can adjust this and set this to be wide width, for example. And let's just go ahead and insert something along the lines of advanced heading. That'll do to start off with. So all we need to do is open up this dynamic fields option. And you can see it gives us the option for what is our source. You can see we've got current post, other posts, site, and latest post. So if we open up other posts, for example, you can see now we get different options and we can go ahead and search for posts, pages, whatever we want to reference that dynamic information from there. So for example, let's just say we use the option for how to back up your website for free. We'll choose that option. And then you've got the field. So this is the field, the normal fields you have, like your title, URL, the ID, you know, the content, the featured image, those kinds of things. Alongside most of the other things like the date that it was posted, the date it was last edited, those kinds of things. There's a lot of options inside you, very akin to if you've used Elementor or Brizzy or those kinds of page builders where they have dynamic capabilities you're gonna find a lot of the same kind of things inside you. And also if you've got custom fields, so if you're using something like custom post type UI or you're using ACF, Metabox, something like that, they're also available to you inside here. So you can see we've got these detected custom fields and these are to do with like SEO press and so on. So there's gonna be a lot of things that you might not need to use, but you kind of have access to a ton of useful info. So let's say we just want to use the post title. You can see then that gives us the ability to show this as a link if we wanted to. So if you were using this to create something that was linking to the actual page or an article or so on, you can set that to be a link just by checking that. And then we get the open in a new tab option. So you can set those as you need to. Then once you're happy, you can click apply. And you can see now that replaces the dynamic or the placeholder text with the dynamic information that we wanted. Come back in if you want to and change this at any point so we can easily just click on it we could say current post and again we can choose the field and again all those same options are inside there so pretty cool to see we have all these if we go to site for example this is now going to give us some slightly different options so you can see in this example there's only three which is your tagline your title and the url for the site itself but great if you wanted to create something like a header section and you wanted to create that from a template and maybe you have some dynamic information in there you want to reference your tagline, your title, those kinds of things. Well, you've got access to all that as well. Now that we've seen how we can reference the dynamic data from WordPress inside some of Stackable Pro's blocks, let's take a quick look at how we could use these skills with Bloxy Pro's Content Blocks feature. Now, Content Blocks are simply templates that we can use to hook into the theme in various different locations. This is a really powerful feature and combined with dynamic data, it opens up a ton of great design options. So now we've touched upon the basic principles of pulling in that dynamic information using Stackable. Let's take a look at how we can use it in conjunction with Bloxy and its content blocks. Again, this is a pro only feature. So we're going to use this to create a dynamic header above our posts and then assign that across the entire site design for all of our posts. So what we're going to do is like I've just shown you, we're going to just simply come in and we're going to just type in for container. We'll insert our container inside here. We'll set this to be plain and we'll also come into the style side of things make sure everything looks good in there. And we'll set this to be full width. So it spans the entire width of our design. So now what I can do is I can start to style this. So let's go ahead and change the background. So we'll change our background color. We'll use my orange color. It's a little bit garish for this example, but it's bright and you can see exactly what's going on. If you want to put a background image over the top of this, for example, you want to create like a kind of watermarked effect. Let's just use this test image. You can see we could do something like that and we can adjust the tint strength and apply fixed backgrounds and so on. For this example though, we're just going to leave it as our solid color. So now what we're going to do is, like I just shown you, we're going to click the plus, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in an advanced heading. And you can add more of these in if you want to. You're not restricted to just using one. You can use this in the normal way you would with Gutenberg. We'll align this to the center. 
So let's click on the little dynamic fields option and we're going to use the option for current post because this is going to be a template based section that will apply to the top of every single one of our posts. So current post is perfectly fine. We can then open this up and we're going to say we want to grab the post title. We'll select that. We don't need to show this as a link. It wouldn't make any sense because it's the title for the post itself. So we'll click apply and you can see now that pulls in post dynamic header, which is just pulling in the data for the post that we're currently working with or the template that we're currently working with. But that, that's perfectly fine. It'll be replaced with the right information when we actually use this and assign it. So then you've got the next section, which we can go ahead and add something else into. So again, you see we've got the option for dynamic fields in this second section, this subtitle section, or you could disable it if you wanted to just by using the little checkbox on the right hand side. But again, we're going to use the current post. We're going to open this up and we're going to say we want to use something like the post date and we'll choose the post date GMT. That's perfectly fine. And you can see we can then choose what kind of date that we want to use, but we'll leave this as the standard date that's chosen in there and we'll hit apply. So you can see now that tells us this was done September the 6th, which is the day that I'm recording this video on. Okay, so now we have two pieces of dynamic information inside our header section. So now we can go ahead and apply this to our actual site. So to do that, we're gonna come over to the Bloxy options and inside there you can see we've got the location and the priority. The location is where we want this template to be associated. So we're going to come down until we find the option for single post. And inside there, we can now choose top, top content, and so on. So we'll say top content in this example. It might be wrong. We can go back and change it at any point. If you want to add another location in, so you might want to use this in specific parts of your site, you can do that. And we're also then going to go ahead and add either a display condition or a user condition. Display condition basically means it has to reach a particular uh, condition for it to be displayed. The user condition means that it has to be a specific user or user role for it to be displayed in the relevant section. We don't want to limit this to user roles. We're going to set it to be displaying for an entire condition and we can choose to include or exclude and then we can go ahead and choose where we want this. So we're going to say this is only going to apply to single posts. We'll choose that option. And again, if we want to add more inside here, we can do that. So we'll click on update on this. And now we've created a dynamic header. Let's just take a look at this now on the front end of the site. So we'll open up any of my posts, we'll open this up, and you can see now we get this dynamic header at the top, dynamically generating the title, the date it was posted, and so on. So this is all just using the stackable dynamic features. Now obviously it looks a little bit rubbish at this point in time, and you need to go into the actual theme itself and configure this to not show the title and those kinds of things. But you can see hopefully that it does make it incredibly easy to start referencing dynamic information. And using that with a theme like Bloxy or Cadence or any of those kinds of pro themes that allow you to hook into the design side of things. This is something that I think is going to become incredibly powerful. And I know I'm super excited to start seeing these showing up inside these different block based add-ons for Gutenberg. It's actually given us the ability to create more dynamic content. Now, if you want to learn more about combining Bloxy and Stackable, check out this video next. As always, all the applicable links are in the description below. And if you got value from this video, well, why not click that thumbs up button? And my name is Paul C, this is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.